as you know, most of the patients who are diagnosed with CTCL um, are diagnosed with early stage disease. They present with just a few patches, you know, less than 10% of their body uh, involved uh, in their body, their skin involved. Um, and so um, a lot of times the patients are, um, you know, it's important to remember that there's been trials showing that uh, skin directed therapy, meaning using topical creams or, uh, you know, UV light treatment or uh, local radiation uh, options like that, where they're not exposed to systemic, you know, treatment, um, that seems to be superior to giving them, you know, multi-dose chemotherapy, um, you know, rather, you know, in, in comparison that patients less, has, have less toxicity with the topical or skin-directed approach, uh, and it keeps the patient, uh, you know, with the indolent disease uh, able to, you know, be able to function and be able to continue with their life, uh, rather than having a significant amount of toxicity right off the bat in a very long drawn out disease, right? So, um, so in terms of options, usually for skin directed therapy, we use uh, uh, topical steroids uh, generally uh, as our first line, but then we also have topical chemotherapy uh, such as topical nitrogen mustard. Um, those are the two uh, most studied uh, topical therapies we have for our cutaneous lymphoma patients. Uh, but then following that, uh, topical retinoids uh, have also been studied and approved for CTCL. Um, topical, uh, uh, you know, uh, tolite receptor agonists uh, such as imiquimod has been used successfully and reported in smaller cases uh, and, and, and can be used as well. So we have a lot of topical options that we do uh, have available for patients, but usually it's not practical to expect a patient to who has a very diffuse disease, you know, with more than 10 or 20 percent of their body covered, to continue to top to use topical treatments because the applications, you know, you get tired of doing that, you know, every single day, uh, and then you need something perhaps a little bit. Um, more, you know, with a, with a larger field effect. So um, then we proceed to use uh, phototherapy or UV therapy. Um, so there's two types of UVs that we use on our patients with skin lymphoma. Um, and the first one is UVB or narrow band UVB therapy, um, which has, you know, been used for many, many years in psoriasis therapy or even in atopic dermatitis. And we find that it is very useful in patients who have skin lymphomas. Um, you know, response rates uh, for UV therapy, depending on how thick the lesions to, are to begin with, um, they respond, you know, in the earliest stage patients, they have over 90% response rates, you know, with UV therapy. Um, and then, you know, uh, if the lesions are thicker, then UVA penetrates a little bit deeper and generally are, uh, is a little bit, uh, has better response rates in those patients with thicker, uh, you know, more, in, more um, deeply uh, embedded lesions. Now, uh, so after, after UV, the next step potentially could be considered is radiation. Uh, and there's two forms of uh, radiation that we can provide to our patients. The first being a local radiation. So for example, if a patient is doing very well with their topical therapy, but they develop a small tumor in you know, one part of their body, um, you know, maybe in their hand or maybe in their, their arm, um, where the rest of the body is doing very well with, uh, with what they're using, uh, we can do a focus, focus treatment with radiation. Um, and lymphoma in the skin is very, very radiosensitive and very low doses are needed. Um, and I think I, I, I want to stress that because, you know, a lot of times I see patients come in referred from the outside, having received much too much radiation than they actually need uh, for, for that uh, lesion that they, they had radiated, you know, outside. So it's important to note that, you know, low dose radiation is all you need for skin lymphomas. Um, and then lastly, we have total skin electron beam radiation, which is using electron beam to treat the entire body if they have extensive disease. And it's very effective in clearing the patients from their lymphoma as well. Now, I have to say that of all the topicals and the skin-directed therapies that we have, radiation therapy is the most effective of all of them. You know, we have patients, uh, you know, with multiple relapse, re refractory disease when radiation, the response rates are still in the 80 to 90 percent range. So very high effective. Now, um, many patients do respond to radiation, uh, and then the important thing is to try to maintain their radiation response as long as you can, uh, perhaps afterwards with radiation, with some maintenance treatment. Uh, and I generally like to maintain patients with some UV therapy uh, and sometimes even with oral retinoids if they, if they need it. 